Okay, so we're talking about staining and cell morphology. Basically, there are two types of dyes, cationic, which is basic, and anionic, which is acidic. Cationic includes the ones that are, you know, crystal violet, saffron, and anionic ones include ones that are, you know, negrosin, and um, aosin. So, basically, the most widely used differential stain is, of course, the gram stain, which gets them into gram positive and gram negative. So, why is gram positive purple? Well, basically, it has a, a thicker pepto-glycan cell wall, and, um, Gram's stain was discovered by Hans Christian Gram in 1883. He actually wanted to distinguish between uh, mammals and bacterial cells, but it didn't really quite work out that way. So now we have Gram's stain. And... So, things you have to watch out for when you're doing a gram stain. Concentration and the freshness of the reagents may affect it. Or if um, the smear is too thick, you might not be able to wash it off, even if it's gram negative. And um, washing and drying of the smears in between the eyes should be consistent. And, you know, um, it's only used for exponential phase of the growth. Okay, so gram stain, since I've done it so many times, because I kept on messing it up, um, the things I remember are C-I-E-S, CES, which is crystal violet, two or three drops, iodine solution, two or three drops, um, ethyl alcohol, just to wash it off, rinse it off, and then saffron, just the counter stain. So, um, after, if you get this from like a plate, you culture from a plate, you sterilize the loop, always sterilize the loop, and um, you take a drop of water into your slide, and then you sterilize the loop again, then pick up your microorganism from the plate, and then put it in, and then, you know, like heat dry it. So after that, you um, make sure it's dry. So you drop two or three of crystal violet and let it sit for one minute and then rinse it off with just normal water and then you use um, two or three drops of gram iodine solution and let it sit for another minute and then at this time you want to have the um, alcohol to kind of wash off the stains in no more than 20 seconds and then you use water to dry it off. And after that, you use um, counter stain of saffron, and if it's, you know, um, gram-positive, it'll still stay violet after you dry off with water. And, of course, it'll turn to red if, you know, it's gram-negative. So, and just let it air dry. You're good with that. Okay, so after you've done all that gram staining, um, you want to look for it under the slide. Usually I use at least 40 times, and you want to check for these four things, which I've, you know, dubbed as. Um, a is for the arrangement. It's, it could be in pairs, it could be like single, it could be in chains, it could be in a regular cluster. Um, the shape could be rod, spherical, curved, the stain, positive is purple, negative is red, and the size, you know, there's usually an ocular um, measurement in the microscope itself. So, that is um, pretty much it.